pristine darkness in every direction. Silence, but for the gentle, rhythmic slap of water on rock as your vessel cuts through. Overwhelming force pushes into your mind. The brain. It is here.
at the ready. A tale for the ages. With haste. Very well. from here. Victory awaits. <laughs> Nothing will stand in my way. No time for mercy. These creatures were not themselves. Corruption is in the air. It infects my faith will go. Oh, oh, my head is pounding. You must be close.
silence. The air is stale and putrid. It's close. Have the stones ready. Your blood slows. Your senses strung so tight they could snap in an instant. Unparalleled. I would have followed it were your mind not destroyed by your sister. But with you gone, the three pitiful chosen fought like children in your wake. I gave them power to harm one another with, while I crafted my design. I used the chosen, while they thought they used me. But the orders are now mine to give. I won't allow it. Again! Dominate it!
the parasite entered your ruined mind. chosen about the astral prison. Who do you think planted the knowledge of Orpheus's power and the fear of what it could do? When the chosen sent my thralls to retrieve the prison, who do you think let the Emperor slip its leash, knowing it would be the one to bring you to me? We were part of its plan. I only needed one Netherstone Lucent from the Chosen's grasp to guarantee my freedom. You brought all three back to me. In doing so, you have liberated me. This was your role, and it is complete. Now you will witness the grand design. Grand design must not come to pass! out just in time. 
The situation is worse than I thought. This is an elder brain. No longer. The magic of the crown has caused it to evolve. It has become something more. A nether brain. I was as surprised as you were. It has been anticipating our every move from the start. I underestimated it. We will need to rethink our plan. Indubitably. Consequences of your actions for the little time you have left. Chains of the Gith Yankee Prince. I didn't expect him to be very friendly after an eon of captivity. The gate is gone. Our mission is set. Smash the crystals with the hammer and free the Prince of the Comet. Gith's beloved son will lead us to a sure victory against the Nether Brain. Lost in thought on my honor. A silent cry pierces your head. It's unlike any sensation you've ever felt. You reek of illithid. You took advantage of my powers. And you slaughtered my honor guard. Nonetheless, it seems we must be allies. Your Majesty, the Prince of the Comet gives true air. It is an honor. Do not patronize me. You rejected the Illithid when it no longer suited your needs. No doubt you freed me because it suits you now. I will neither forgive nor forget your abuse of my powers. to surrender yourself to my honor guard. They would have given you a noble end. Any worthy individual destined to become Gake would have done so. My guard would have freed me, and I would have stopped the Elder Brain before it evolved into a Nether Brain. All that suffering, avoidable, were it not for the choices you made. Transgressions. We will destroy the Netherbrain together and put a stop to this nascent empire before it expands into the stars. The Gake was correct about one thing the Netherbrain's power is beyond us. The hardest metal in the world would not cut through its mind, for it is made of thought itself. At this point, it will take an Elithid to unleash the full potential of the Netherstones. I will do it. I will become illithid. I will sacrifice my soul for my people. I will end the grand design. My prince, you cannot. This is not your burden to bear. It seems 
I misjudged you. You were testing my honor. And in so doing, you have convinced me of yours. The Netherbrain wants nothing more than to see all infected become gay. My defenses keep the voice of the Absolute out. But just as I can raise them, so I can lower them. I will allow the voice of the Absolute in. Once it reaches you, it will order you to transform. It will only take a moment. And once you are a Mind Flayer, I will fold you under my protection once more. You will be the savior of empires. Not least, my own. With the withdrawal of Orpheus's power, your mind is rushed with the full force of the Netherbrain. You feel a compulsion unlike anything you've ever known. Excruciating and exhilarating in equal measure. You wish nothing in the world but to evolve. Then, complete silence, as you are once again closed off from the Netherbrain's mind. My people will remember you. The rebel Illithid who stood beside their reborn prince and ended the grand design. Let us return now to the city and follow the path of the Netherbrain. I will not forget what you did here today, nor will the Githyanki people. We have unchained the true mayor. First, he will lead us to victory against the Netherbrain. Then, he will loose the Githyanki from Vlakit's undead talons. Has come! Shabar Orpheus! Shabar Orpheus! Shabar Orpheus! Voss, my most loyal friend! How good to set eyes on you! You honor me, your radiance. A geish keeps you company. Unusual. An illithid in guise, an old ally in truth. He took this form so I might end the grand design. The Skva. Can it be? Thanks to you, the skies above Tunarath shall tremble with sounds. Orpheus will take the truth to the people. We will slay the Lich Queen. Our chains will be cleaved. Mighty Foss, your words lift me. Vlaketh will splinter like glass and vanish like smoke. Shavar, Orpheus! My sword is yours. We will exterminate the brain and end its plague. This champion holds the key to its defeat. Stand by for orders, Voss. Answer to him as you would answer to me. As you wish, Prince Orpheus. Forward! The Netherbrain falls this day! Let it be the first victim in the war for the skies!
We have lost much already. And we will lose more before the day is out. But even when the last soul falls, Baldur's Gate will stand. For Baldur's Gate is more than just a city. It is more than a place of opportunity for those of mercantile spirit. More than a place of refuge for those who are lost. More than a home for friends, loved ones, and adventuring spirits. Baldur's Gate is a place where anyone can find what they need, if they're just willing to fight for it. Today, Baldur's Gate needs us. Today, we fight for... Your late friend? This is the one you spoke of. The very same. The champion we've been waiting for. The one who will save Baldur's Gate from ruin. The Fist eyes you with suspicion. He was not expecting the saviour of Baldur's Gate to be a mind flayer. Appearances may change, but they do not mask the one within. This one, I know. Observe with whom it traveleth. Friends. This Mind Flare will fight with thee. It will save thy city and thy lives. The Fist's suspicion softens to curiosity, his hostility melting at the recognition that there's more behind those eyes than malice. My steel is yours, Mind Flayer, and I'm not alone. Never thought I'd be fighting alongside a Mind Flayer. But I'll fight with you. With magic. I have marshaled the best the Flaming Fist has to offer. We will fight to the last. The Moon Maiden's silver light is a shield in dark times. Today, it is mine to wield. And I hold her sword. Whatever strength I have to lend, I will lend it. I will make my city proud again. You can count on me, little squid. I thirst for the hunt. I'm in the mood to crack some skulls after that fuckery in the Temple of Baal. The City Watch will be glad to oblige me. Not sure what I have to offer a mind flared, if I'm honest. But I hope my words of encouragement and reassurance will strengthen your uh, resolve. I want my city back. And I've brought the toughest bastards from the guild to get the job done. All the strength of the lands we healed flows through me. And from me to you. No matter what form you take. Nature's servant awaits. Glad to have you with us. And not a moment too soon. The air is thick with anticipation. All eyes are on you. They're expecting a speech, something to stir their hearts and put fire in their bellies for the fight ahead. What will a mind flayer say that could encourage them on the threshold of battle? Uncertainty ripples through them. That a mind flayer could appeal to freedom is a confusing notion. To our freedom! We'll prepare ourselves. We'll be ready when you call upon us. Baldurin's grace be with you. Stand together and behold the sky swarming with red dragons. They may roar Flacket's name, but I can't deny their beauty. For this one moment, in this one battle, the Lich Queen and I share a common cause. The Netherbrain's defeat and the Grand Design's failure. 
My instinct is to flay you where you stand. But I am more than my instinct. You made an incredible sacrifice. For me, for my people, for the Prince of the Comet. I know who you are, and I know what you gave up. You are the source of my bruises, the source of my joy, and more still. You are Mlagi, Liberator. Save the city. You feel his mind buckling, yielding. Against his better judgment, he trusts. Remarkable. Never in all my life did I think to fight alongside a mind flare. We go back in there, we die, we flee, we last half a day at best. Shit! If this is it, then God damn it, let's make it count. City Watch, with me! We'll follow you to our last breaths.
they're still alive, so that's progress.
police. I need to find a way forward. Taking position. 